All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create this passport birthday party invitation using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Um, I did actually get an idea to make the passport invitations from my YouTube channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel and or watch and or like any and all of my videos. Also, if you find an advertisement that is useful and you'd like to find out more, if you click on it, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I also want to point out on my channel, I have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. Uh, if you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Uh, it will go through and, I, and show you how to do that, and I do have some unique um, fonts on here. So please, again, watch this video if you don't know how to download and install new fonts. Um, here is actually what it looks like printed out um, and you can just use double-sided sticky tape to um, stick the front and the back and actually when you print this out um, it prints on two different sheets of paper and again you can just kind of cut them out and you have sort of this line here to show um, where you fold it and then you can just use double-sided sticky tape in order to stick it together. Uh, pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So um, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go up to File, New, Blank Document, okay? And what we wanna do is we wanna go to Insert, Shapes, and we wanna insert um, a rectangle right here, okay? And then you just wanna click anywhere on here. Now once we have this rectangle, what we want to do is we want to make this a five, sorry, yep, uh, we want to make this a seven by five. Now I actually made this a five by seven originally and I, I kind of like the size. That being said, if you wanted to make this a five by six, when you fold it over, it would fit into a three by five envelope. Um, so it really kind of depends on, on what you're going for. Right now, again, I'm showing you how to do a 5 by 7 but um, feel free to, when you um, recreate this, to create this as a 5 by 6 and that way it would fit in a 3 by 5 um, card, or envelope, I should say. All right, so we're going to make the middle first, and then we'll make the um, front of the passport second, okay? So if we go ahead and take a look at here, the first thing we want to do is get this background of the pink and white stripes. So we're going to go back up to here. I like to use Google. If you like to use Bing or Yahoo, please feel free to use whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to type in pink and white stripe background. And we're going to go ahead and click on images. And I believe this was what we used and we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to do save picture as and we're just going to go ahead and save it as whatever we want and we're going to go back here and what we're going to do is we're going to do shape fill and we're going to go over to picture and then we want to go to file to where you saved it and um, I saved it in a video folder in my passport folder and here is actually the one that we saved is as you can see it's the same name and we want to insert and actually what we want to do here is do you see how the stripes are going long and we don't want the stripes to go long what we can very easily do is click on here and we can move this to the side and then what we want to do is change this to a five by seven and there we go, now it's elongated. Um, so if you saw what happened there, um, the picture that we pulled out was actually horizontal rather than vertical. So again, we had to flip the shape around so we could change around um, the stripes being um, vertical versus the stripes being horizontal. Um, there were other ways to do it. Probably easier would be to rotate the image, um, but I just chose to, to flip it. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and move this around until we center this. And now we see that green line and it's centered. If you do not have that green line there, what you want to do is click on, um, let's see, I think it's design. No, oh, that's page layout and you want to click on a line and you want to ensure use alignment guides is selected. If you don't see that green line, that's what you want to do. So again, it's page layout, align, and then use alignment guides. OK, 
Okay, that's how you can get those green arrows. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on Drawing Tools. We want to do Format, and we want to do a Shape Outline. And we can do a Shape Outline of just a really light gray if we want. Okay, we could also do the pink, but for the Passport, I, I kind of liked the gray better. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on, click in here, click on, I'm sorry, Picture Tools, and click on Format, and then you want to go over to um, Corrections, and we want to make the brightness higher. Okay, and the reason why we want to do this is we're going to be writing text over it, and we don't want it to be um, so pink. So again, we just want to lighten that up. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape, and we're going to insert um, a line, if you saw I did that. Now I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to put this line in. Now if you hold down the Shift key, it's only going to move this in 45 degree angles, which is what we want, um, because we want it to be a straight line. And we want to ensure that that straight line is in the center, and then we want to do a shape outline of a really light gray, just so we know kind of where to fold it. And we can actually move this, hold down the Shift key, and um, go to one end where you see this little double arrow, and move this on over to the end. Or alternatively, you can click up here, and you want to make this five inches. Um, and then we want to move this line. You can use the arrow keys. Once the shape is selected, and you can see the shape is selected with the two little squares, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it around very easily. So now we know that's where the fold is going to go. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box. And we're going to draw a text box, and we're going to go right up here. And we're going to write, Emily is turning five. And we want to highlight this, and we want to go to home. The font that I used for this was East. E-C-U-Y-E-R DAX, and the size is 25. Again, if you don't know how to download and install new fonts, please watch that video and you can download that font. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to ensure that this is centered, and then we want to click on Format for Tools, and we want to do a Shape Fill of No Fill, and we want to do a Shape Outline of No Outline. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to um, insert another text box and we want to draw a text box. Now if you look at a passport on the top of the passport it has um, I think gender, passport number, a few other things. But here we're going to write because obviously it's an invitation we're going to write lunch. Just go ahead and do two spaces. Write cake, two spaces, and then write fun factor number. And again on a normal passport this is actually the passport number. We want to click on Format, we want to do a Shape Fill of No Fill, Shape Outline of No Outline. And the font we used for this was Arial, and we made this a bold, and we made this an 8 point font. Okay. Now what we can do is go to here and we want to hit the Tab key twice, hit the Tab key twice. We want to go back here, probably want to hit the tab key another maybe two more times, two more times, and then let's remove one, and again, I'm just kind of playing with this, so I apologize. And then from here, we want to go in front of cake, actually in here, we want to go to lunch, and we want to center this, okay? Again, it was two tabs plus two spaces across each, and then I went ahead and centered that. And if you want to add a couple more, you can obviously add a couple more. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to insert another text box. And we want to draw a text box, and that's going to be directly under here. And we want to do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And for lunch, we want to write pizza, do two tabs, cake, yes, two tabs. And then fun factor, I just kind of put in random numbers. Um, and then from here, we want to go to Home, and this is actually called Passport Font, and we obviously want to center this, and we want to use the Space key to kind of space these out.
and what we want to do here is move a little bit of that over and then move pizza. There we go. And again, you just kind of want to play with the spacing and add either the tabs and or the space bar in order to get the spacing just right. Now what we want to do is we want to insert a picture and I'm going to take a picture of my daughter. This is a very old picture. Um, but I used it for another video, so I figured I'd stay consistent. And then we want to, and again, okay, so what you saw there, let me start over because I kind of did that pretty fast. Um, let me delete this. We want to insert picture, and I'm going to find a picture that I want to insert. And then what you want to do is you want to click over here for layout options, and you want to write in front of text, okay? Now we can very easily move this around. If you don't do that, it's going to not only be behind your shapes or whatever images you already have, but you also won't be able to move it around. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and crop. And again, I clicked on format and then I clicked on crop. And then you wanna go over here till you see sort of this make the, um, I guess the L shape, if you will, or the corner shape, and you wanna just move this on up. And now most passport photos are rectangular, not square. So you can kind of crop it any way you want. And then go like this. And then we can very easily go down. And again, you can when you see this little double arrow on the corner, that's how you can make the images smaller or bigger. Okay. And we can make this just a touch smaller. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, almost done with this here. We want to write a text box. We want to draw a text box. And we want to draw right over here. And we're going to write dates. And then we'll write 12, 17, 2017. And we want to write time, 10 o'clock a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. And destination, um, disease, tumble, bus. And we can do 3205, 148th Avenue Southeast, Bellevue. All right, so from here, um, as you can see, the spacing is a little off. So we want to click and we want to highlight all of this. We want to click on Home. And then we want to click over here to line and paragraph spacing and we want to click to line spacing options from here we want to do this after set to zero and the line spacing set to single that's going to move everything up which is what we want we then want to click on format and we want to do a shape fill of no fill shape outline of no outline um, then we want to correct any spelling mistakes we have and again you can just highlight the word and then you can right click and that will bring up the correct spelling and um, now what we want to do is we want to highlight this and this is actually Arial and it's bold. This is Arial and it's bold and destination is Arial and it is bold. Oh, and I also forgot the, um, let me highlight this. RSVP to mail at gmail.com by 12 um, 10 week before. Now, if you put in an email address by default, it's going to turn it to blue and highlight it as it's a hyperlink. What you can do is you can highlight it and then you want to right click and then you want to scroll up here to remove hyperlink and that will remove that hyperlink. Okay. Next thing we want to do is copy this and we want to change this to passport and we want to highlight this and change this to passport. And we want to highlight this and change this to passport and highlight this and change this to passport. Okay. And then finally, we actually want to change the spacing one more time. I apologize about that, but we want to click on line spacing options and um, let's see how that looks for 1.5. Yeah, that's about a 1.5. So that's a, a one and a half um, for line spacing. Okay. Uh, now the last piece we have for this particular page 
is we want to go on the bottom, we want to insert a text box, draw a text box. Now pretty much on all the passports, you are going to see and do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline, and you're gonna see these carrot symbols. And we wanna change these to Arial. Okay. And we could do a whole bunch of these. And a whole bunch of these. And we'll probably delete those in a little bit. And we want to go to line spacing options once again. And this time we do wanna have single space. Again, that was after zero and then space single. And then we just wanna kinda of go in here and change this to passport. And we wanna write happy, go over here. We wanna change this to passport, birthday. And then we can kinda of do some in here. Change this to E, oops, 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 E. And then I think I did two carrots. Um, and then I did two carrots. And again, I'm changing this to passport font. I didn't really like the passport font carrots. That's why I changed this to passport. And then we can go here. There we go. And we can add some more carrots. And then down here, and we can say E and um, oops. I L Y. And then we can go over here, change this to is over here. Turning over here. And five. There we go. And then we have the little carrots. All right, so that's how you can get this part of the page done. Um, now, if we look over here, we have all of these um, sort of stamps. Um, so let's go back over here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do an insert text box and we're gonna draw a text box and we're gonna write um, birthday girl. Okay, and we're gonna do these brackets around, okay? And the reason why is this is the font that we use, and what we're gonna do here is we can do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline for that text box. We're gonna highlight this, we're gonna to go to home, and um, the font that I used is called Top Secret, okay? And we are going to make this a 40 point font. And instead of the space, we're gonna do an underscore for birthday girl. But if you look like if you look at this, it looks like an actual stamp, which is kind of fun. Okay. Now if we want to make this pink and we want to make this the same pink, okay, something we can do is we can press control print screen P T R S C N, which should be on the upper upper right hand side of your of your um, keyboard. So hold down the CTRL button and then press print screen. Okay, that's gonna take a snapshot. Then you can open up paint and you can do a paste. Okay, that's gonna take a snapshot of what it looks like. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna get this exact pink color and just make it a slight shade darker. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on this color picker, click on this pink, and then we're gonna click on edit colors. Now we can see here, this is 255 by 2, 221, and then 229, okay? Um, we wanna write that down somewhere, and then we can go ahead and close this out. Don't save, okay? So if we wanted this birthday to girl to be pretty much the same color, just, just pink and slightly darker, we can click on this, 
click on here and we want to click on more colors okay and then we want to click on custom when we click on custom we're going to type in our 255 we're going to type in our 221 and we're going to type in our 229 okay and then there's our pink color and then what we can do is we can just go down and that's just going to give us a little bit darker of the same shade okay so it's all going to match and then if we wanted to to around here for the outline we could click on format and we could do a shape outline of that same kind of darker pink in the same shade okay now the last thing we need to do is get some of those stamps so we're going to go back to again i like to use google if you like to use bing or yahoo feel free um, we're going to type in stamp passport and we're going to click on images and there's a lot of stamps here um, you know what let's actually do this one instead passport stamp png now the reason why you want .png is because if you see this gray and white background, what you're going to get is only the stamp and you're going to get a translucent background. You want as many of those as you can do. So we're going to do a save picture as, and we can call this um, V for video stamp one. Okay. And then we can close out of here and then we can click on this one and we can right click and we can do save picture as, and we could do V stamp two. Okay, and then we can close that in here. Uh, and we can just go ahead and select, I think it was this one that I used. We can right click and we can do save. And we can do V stamp three. And let's do this Paris stamp. Now this is not, now do you see how this is white background? This is not a translucent background. So you'll see the difference of this. This is actually a good, um, good example. We're gonna go ahead and save this and do V stamp four. Okay, I think that's enough stamps. So let's go back here and we're gonna go ahead and do an insert picture. And let's go ahead and go down to our Vs. Let's do V stamp two. Now again, you can't move this around. So what you need to do is you need to click up here or you can right click and do wrap text and say in front of text. Now you can move it around. Now do you see what I mean about translucent background? It, it has um, no sort of white background. You just get the image, okay? That's what you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a picture and let's go ahead and insert this stamp, which again, if you remember, was not the PNG and did not have that translucent background. Now do you see the difference? See, this has this white background. Well, if you have something that has the white background, don't worry about it, you can still get rid of it. What you wanna do is you wanna click on Format and you wanna click on Remove Background. Again, Format Picture and then Remove Background. And then you can very easily just go here and go around and you can say Keep Changes. Uh, it's still gonna take kind of the center um, so it's not going to look as good because you still have a little bit of that white um, around the center, but it still looks pretty good. And it doesn't have sort of that white border around it. Now let's insert another picture and let's go ahead and take the stamp. And again, we want to say in front of text. And again, there's that translucent background, which looks really nice. Oops. And then we can move that over there. And then finally, we can insert picture and we could insert this large one and we can say in front of text and then what we can do is once again we can click on crop and we can go all the way up and just grab this one and then we can say remove backgrounds and then again we want to go around this whole image to grab that stamp and then we can say keep changes Okay, now we have the Argentina stamp. And basically this is how you can go about getting all of your stamps. Okay. And we can insert picture. We can grab this one. And again, we want to say in front of text and we want to crop. And we can grab this one maybe. and remove backgrounds. And keep changing. 
changes. Oops. Okay. And again, you can add as many stamps as you want, but that's how you can kind of get that, um, that, that sort of stamped look. All right, now what we want to do is we want to insert blank page, and that's going to automatically move this to the bottom. And we want to go up here and we want to do an insert shapes, and we want to insert rectangle. We can click here. And then from here, we want to make this seven. We want to make the height five. Okay. And you can go ahead and ensure that this is centered. There we go. And we can do a shape fill, and we can do um, this color, or we can do more fill colors, and we can do custom, and we can do that same light pink that we had before. So we can do 225, 221, and again, this is the numbers that you wrote down before, 229. And then there's that same color, and you can do shape outline of that same pink. And you can insert a shape, and you wanna insert here, and you wanna go here, and we wanna make this five. And you wanna put that right in the center, okay? And once again, we can make this pink. Now we want to insert text box, draw text box, and up here, we want to say passport. And we want to highlight this, go to home. We could center this. And the font that I used was Ming L I U H K S X B. So again, that's Ming L I U underscore H K S C S dash X B. And this is 48. I actually think this is a default default font. Um, so I don't even think you'll have to go and download that. And then we can um, do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And we can insert a text box and we can draw a text box. And we can write to fun and highlight this, go to home, and we could center this. And this is great day personal use. I love this font. Make this a 28 point. And again, click on shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Oops. Okay. Uh, and um, now we wanna get this sort of happy birthday. So we can go over here. And again, I like to use Google. And we want to type in official seal birthday background. And we want to click on images. And we can go ahead and grab this one, although this one has a, um, here we go. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And we want to do a save picture as and we can save this as birthday. And we wanna go back here and we want to insert picture. And here's our birthday. Once again, you can't really move this around or do anything with it. So you wanna click on layout options and say in front of text and that will move that on up. And we wanna make this smaller again by dragging from the corner and um, left clicking to bring that up. Next thing we want to do is click on remove background. And we want to grab everything here. And we want to say keep changes. And then finally, we want to change the color to this gray, or we can change the color to this gray. And then we can say insert text box, draw a text box, Emily's fifth birthday. And we can highlight this, shape fill and no fill, shape outline of no outline. Let's go to home, 
Let's go to line spacing options. And again, we're gonna do zero and single spaced. Okay, and then we want to go to great day personal use. And this is a 26 point font and we want to center this and then we can move this down. And that's it. That's how you can make these really cute passport invitations using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser um, and obviously a printer and you want to have a nice color printer. Once you print these both out, you are going to want to get some double sided sticky tape and um, stick them to uh, stick them to the backs to each other and um, they turn out pretty darn cute and they open up like a little book. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Um, again, please like this video and or like any other, other of my videos. Um, also subscribe to my channel and I am always looking for new ideas for uh, new videos. So if you have any, please let me know and thanks so much for your time.